next roundabout what we'll do is we'll go um, ahead, second exit, the one with the bus garage down the hill. I still won't be saying too much, but in a moment we'll pull over and go over a few things. So let me know on this one when you see a chance to go. Notice one thing you're doing which might be causing a few problems, but we'll go over that in a moment. Okay. When you change the lens there, what do you need to do really before you change? Uh, right yep, yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay. There's no one around us, otherwise I'll sit there, but it's got to be a minimum, so you know, if you've got a middle mirror, right mirror. Okay. What else should be done as well? Because there's something you're still doing from the roundabout. Indicate. That's it. That might be similar to what you had on this test, I don't know. Yeah. But if you see the left and you go right, it can be misleading. Any time there's danger there, I jump in and tell me about that. Because if no one's around, I've got to let it go wrong to see if it goes wrong. So, there are two roundabouts, you probably know around here. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead on both roundabouts. Okay. You, you might have even driven these before. But, uh, we'll see. One little tip on this one with the second one, it is very hard to get around here because the way it is. Do you know this one I mean? Um, the second one down yeah. here, yeah. So try and go around as much as you can, but don't worry about getting fully around because you can't. If you try, you will hit the curb because it's so badly positioned, it's easy to run around and hit the curb. In fact, the roundabout's kind of faded, yeah. Yeah. Dead little attempt at a roundabout. If we take the first road on the left, just coming up here. Follow up towards the top, and we'll pull up just somewhere after that silver taxi. Will be good. Okay. So, it doesn't really matter where here because it's. Um, yeah, it's all like glass. Isn't yeah. it? Right, so just a few things to go over, and um, we'll leave it turned off for now, just because. Um, we're going to be moving quite soon. Do you know normally why she's turning off when you pull over? I don't know, but normally. Is it just like to say? So that it's not like doing the emissions and yeah, stuff? Yeah, like that's that. it. So, not going to matter now because we've got to practice things, but um, yeah. normally we also pull up and turn off. So, the approach to the roundabouts, what I noticed is what you're doing, if I kind of simulate what you're doing on this, uh, if you're doing no pedals now. So what I do in my pedals, you'll put your pedals or we'll go a bit further. Yeah. So, with the roundabouts, what I noticed is you're going towards them, but then when you stop, you're sitting on the brake like that, okay. and in the clutch. Is that what you normally do? Yeah, because you're not supposed to do that. Because why is that no good? You might have been taught that, I don't know, I don't know if you've been taught that or not, but it's, it's a bad habit to sit on the brake, but why is that? Yeah, because if you're going to go, which pedal should you be on and ready to go with? Which two pedals? Right. Yeah, that's it, sorry. That's all. <laughs> so I'll call that a gas just so now, just because people call you different yeah. things. So you want your feet on the gas and the clutch, because otherwise the problem is you're not ready to go. Yeah. So if you're sitting on the brake, um, you notice the car's making a funny sound, like, if you're doing no clutch now, yeah. just when you do yours, mine all going to be weird. When you do like that, you're hearing that noise. Yeah. That's what you don't want, because okay. that's your, your clutch kind of grinding away. Your brake's holding the car still, but you're kind of pulling okay. it forward quite a bit. If that's what you normally do, that might be your trouble with the roundabouts. Yeah, because yeah, the other problem as well is you can, although you didn't, you could have the clutch up, brake off, you go surging forwards like that, you're building up all the energy with the brake on. So it's a really bad habit to sit with the brake on. Yeah. So you mentioned this before, but what should you do ideally? Put the handbrake on. That's it, because when you've done that, your right foot then can be on that gas. Yeah, and, and then you just let it off when you want to go. That's it. Okay. Um, did you sign the test one? What did you sign it? Was it you pulled out, but you said you should have carried on? Basically, so like. You know I was going to pull out, but then a car was coming faster yeah. than I thought it was. So then I stopped because I didn't want to like yeah. go really fast. But then he said, but he, he you said, were already kind of out, so you should have yeah. just gone. That's the thing about the brake and the clutch. Because yeah. if you was on the gas and the clutch, you would have gone, got out of the way. Yeah. And then that wouldn't have been a problem. Um, 
when there's any time you should really sit on the brake, there's one time you can because I don't want to say much more than that, but there's one occasion when you can. Mm. So, what's, what's the brake stop you doing when you're on the brake? Like rolling, so yep. like if you're on a hill. Yep, so which way don't you want to roll? Don't That's backwards. it. So if you're going to roll forward, it's okay sometimes because yeah. you can brake off, roll forward a bit, then gas clutch and go. Um, but if you're going uphill, then you certainly don't want to be on the brake. So okay. we're going to try and fix that up. That can be awkward to fix because um, it depends on yeah, what's that car doing there. It's going all over the place. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you do no pedals again, I'll just demonstrate this yeah. thing. Because of the sun, I can't see if you're on the pedal there. Yeah. That's what. So you imagine the roundabout was kind of where that kind of mound of dirt on the left is like a Looks like a mole's come up out of the ground. Or <laughs> but um, yeah, that was around about there. Ideally, you want to roll towards them. So you kind of clutch down, roll, you're okay. on the gas to clutch, you're looking, 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 creeping, crawling, trying to carry on. Yeah. When you get a chance, off you go. And you can creep, so we're going so slow, we're barely moving. And so you're kind of creeping, creeping, crawling, crawling. Then you get a chance, and off you go. If you really can't go, you can just stop. Yeah. And then go again. But even if you stop, <coughs> you try and balance through the pedals, you do a gas clutch balance it like that okay. and then you go. Did you go over that before where you kind of hold it still on a hill with the clutch, the clutch control? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what you would do on the uh, on your approach to around the boat. Yeah. Um, it doesn't annoy people behind because sometimes people say it annoys people behind you. It won't annoy them because you can't go anyway. So you're not missing chances because you can't yeah. go. So it annoys people more if you get there, break, stop and then you know you could have crept and crept and crept. Yeah. So, does that make sense? Because that's quite a long thing to explain. Yeah. Yeah. So the main thing is try not to stop dead. So if okay. the roundabout was that pothole on the right there, you try and roll, 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 creep, yeah. and then go, rather than Instead stopping. Instead of stopping and then trying Yeah, because stopping's quite negative once you stop, yeah. you've stopped dead. If you've got to stop, fine, but you, the most roundabouts you should be able to go. If you find you're stopping, you're probably not doing it right. Yeah, but then if I do have to stop then, is that when I should use my handbrake? You could, but what you could try and do is this, you try and I don't have pot all again in front is at the end of the road to the roundabout. You can creep really slow like this, creep, creep, crawl, crawl. Then if you can't go, balance for a little bit. Yeah. Then if you really can't go after a few seconds you start to burn the clutch out, you can just break, clutch down and back. Okay. No, no. But the, the chance of you stopping all that are pretty slim because if you plan it well, you don't have to stop dead. We're not doing advanced driving, but if you go into advanced driving that's what you do. You never ever okay. want to stop dead. Because yeah. it means yeah, if you stop in that's it, you're well not planning ahead and restarting all yeah. that. One of the minor things, very, very, very minor is, but when you pull over, um, like when you're in third or second, whatever it is, and what should you do before the gear? This is a very, very minor thing, but... Because you did that. Stop. Then you did the next thing, but what, what should you do before that? My, my handbrake. Yeah, so it's always handbrake and then, and then neutral. neutral. Yeah, that's yeah. Why is that order normally... Like hand you normally hand back in neutral. I don't know. So, just so your car's secure again, not a big problem here because it's pretty flat. Yeah. I think it's flat, let's see. Mm, rolling back a bit. But imagine if it's going forward, you don't be moving, yeah. you're going neutral, and then you've hit someone. So it's all stop, hand back. And okay. if you do stall, whatever, you yeah. won't move anyway. So the main thing I want to go over is that thing with the roundabout. So we're going to practice yeah. that on this road. You see that silver car ahead on the left? Yeah. Um, just imagine that's a roundabout, we're going to roll up to it, creep, creep, balance and then go. Okay. I won't say much about how because you mentioned you've done it before, yeah. but I'll talk through a little bit. Okay. But yeah, let's go and give that a go. Because you want me to like go up to it and like, yeah, slow down but not like stop. That's it, we're going to pretend there's like a bus coming towards you and we're going to give way on that bus. Or give way, not on the bus, but give way for all the bus. Because when you go away right to that car before on the other way, it's the same thing, I know she's sitting on the brake yeah. and you have the clutch down. I don't mention every single fork because if I mention everything, we could never get anywhere. Yeah. You know, it could be near the you know, amateur on, but it's just that we sort of work on the big things and we work on the little things. Yeah. Now, the handbag nature thing doesn't matter as much as the creeping does. So just imagine how you see a bus coming down the hill. Probably wouldn't on this road, but just imagine there's one there. Yeah. So just try and balance it out. So, how do you do that? Right. That's good. Like this. Imagine like the bus is there, gone. Yeah, and then yeah, that's good. So on a roundabout, you want to try and do that more than stopping okay. and yeah. um, stopping and going again. You might find where you need to rev a bit higher because that, that was quite okay. early for two. It works, but it's struggling a little bit. Okay. Yeah, different cars, different engines, it's all yeah, different. Yeah, probably just getting used. It's better to begin with if you get it quite loud. Yeah, normally I wouldn't say that because normally loud is not good. But yeah. trying to kind of push, <coughs> I was going to say push quite a bit. Yeah. 